we have a very... Welcome to today's press conference with our head coach, Jon Dahl Thomasson. Questions to Jon. Jonas. Jon, what do you say about the game? Um, I think the boys did an excellent job. Uh, I think we should be very proud of the performance. Great to play in a full stadium with our amazing fans, the way they were cheering for us, helping us, playing one of the best teams in the world. The players followed the game plan, uh, did it in a very structural way. Of course, we play against a good team with uh, which quality. So they created a couple of opportunities to score goals. And we had a couple of moments uh, if you had made a little bit better choice. But general, top performance. The guys have done an excellent job. Could you go through the decision to start with Nanasi today? No, uh, I changed five players from the weekend. I told you more or less the team before we started with those. I think it was after this national break. We, I think we played more or less six uh, six games in 21 days. And today we'll be having seventh games. So we need to use the whole squad. And there's also coming players back. But Sebe is, a, is an extremely good talent. There's a reason why I took him to, to the squad and why I believed in him from the beginning. Uh, and he showed quality. He's a young boy. He still needs to learn to work hard and, and, and do the right thing. But he has something special. Was that the reason that Velko was on the bench, that he wanted a little bit of rest? Velko, uh, he started the last six games. In, 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 and if he had started today, it would be seven games in 21 days. And that's actually too much for a player if you need to perform and if you need to stay fit. Last question. Uh, do you know anything about <laughs> Ewinge Barriat? Um, yeah. I think he got a hit, uh, so it hurts a bit. But he's a barrier, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, so you did a lot of changes in the second half. Uh, what was the reason that you put out uh, Sergio Pena so early? Um, the same with Sergio. He came for, uh, for a period where he was injured and he's been playing a lot of games. Uh, and we need him on Sunday for an important game as well. It's also good to give minutes to Oscar uh, to get him back. So that was also the reason for that. And, and Sean, he was, uh, he was tired. He's coming back from injury. He played 90 minutes three days ago uh, with his age as well. And then you need to take care of him. So the focus was a little bit more on Sundays, Saturdays, Sunday's game? No, not at all. The focus was on, uh, was on keeping everybody fit and on board. Uh, you know, your performance today was quite different from uh, the one in London. Was it due to your uh, performance or mainly to Chelsea performing other ways? What do you say? I don't think the performance was that different. I think the scoreboard was different. Uh, I think we defended very well uh, in the second half as well uh, away in London against the champion of the Champions League with a lot of players. Uh, I think also they got chances today. I think we were solid defensively. I think we could have been sometimes a little bit better with the ball, but generally a great performance. Uh, they got two penalties away in London. We were not conceding that many chances in the second half, not at all. Uh, but we have to remember we are playing uh, clubs on another level. And of course, it can be difficult to understand when you're not used to play Champions League. That's why I'm extremely proud. I'm proud to see the Champions League, a full stadium with our amazing fans cheering for us. Uh, the, the stadium stadium dressed to Champions League football, impressive for the city, for the club, and it gives an extremely stability. And, and I know this club has been used to play Europa League, but there's something totally different. I know that because I tried different things in my life, in my football life. So good performance general against uh, a good side who played well. Today, they played extremely well in London as well. You said that uh, you play game, uh, games against teams on another, on another level. Do you think that you showed today that you belong on this level? I think, Eric, uh, when you have succeeded to... The boys have brought this club into the Champions League. It's a big success. This football heaven. Uh, and there's something I think we... 
will be looking back on for many years. Uh, so extremely well done for the for, for the club. And of course, when you are here on this level, you want to you want to make an upset. You want to do a perfect result, a bit of a miracle. And I can uh, can only say that I'm very proud of the way, the attitude, our great team spirits which we have, how how the work togetherness, that togetherness, it was uh, it was extremely good. Um, hi, you, you talked about you talk about good performances in the tournament, uh, but still at the bottom line, it's it's zero points and zero twelve in in the goal score. Do you think those numbers give a fair and true picture of your performances in the tournament so far? I think in in, in general, if you play on the on the highest level, um, I think there's a lot of teams who who lose big, and we gave away some some unnecessary penalties against very good opponents, and it's of course because the game are so quick. Uh, the level uh, decision making is so quick, so we need to cope with that. And and it's not nice losing. Oh, well, I'm not happy when I lose a game, not at all. But uh, but if you see on our journey so far in Europe, I think we played a lot of good games. Losing hurts. Losing hurts for the coach, for the players, for the fans, for the whole club, and also for the country uh, in a in a bit because. Uh, Sweden are extremely proud of what Melbourne have done so far, bringing this club into the Champions League. is um, I think it's a historical moment. Jeroen, what do you think about the chances to get the third position in the group? There's still a chance. There's always a chance, you are, uh, but we, we are playing against uh, good teams and, and, and even seeing it, I think, uh, I think yeah. I think gonna buy your house as well. Seeing it, I think they have a lot of money there as well to do that. I think that's possible. So we are we are playing against a very good team. Uh, maybe they come from Russia, and maybe we don't know it, but I know that extremely good teams, and that team actually deserved to win away in Chelsea. And uh, Oscar Levicki was picked for the national team today. Uh, what do you think about that? And uh, that he hasn't played uh, from the start since. August. Yeah, uh, you know what I think about Oscar. Uh, he's an excellent player and very important player for the team. He got minutes uh, today again, and I understand that the that the that national team coach are choosing him because he's a quality player. I understand even that he hadn't played that much because he got injured and Luka goes away. When was that? On August or something? Middle of August. So yeah, it's a couple of uh, of months ago, but he's uh, he seems to be going the right direction, and I'm very happy to give him minutes today. Do you think that he can start next week in, in the national team? Is, is he that fit, in your opinion? Yeah, I, I have a Danish passport. I'm not the, the, the coach of, of, of Sweden. I think he done a, he do a good job, the coach of Sweden. I mean his physical status. Oh, all right, all right, all yeah. right, uh, okay. Um, his physical status is good. When you get, can, can, can play minutes, yeah, then you're ready always to start. Over there. Hi, um, Hi. What will make the, the last two games in, in the Champions League uh, a success for you? It's a, it's a very good question. Um, first of all, I, I like to see my players do the concrete things and the right things. You saw a team following the game plan uh, perfect today. And then you know you play against good teams, so you need to be a realistic. But we want to, to make that upset. We want to do it. That's also why we invite for party. We invite for party during the Champions League, and we want to be part of that party. I think we were part of that today. Uh, so those moments uh, we, we need to, to, to make, to make it successful. Um, of course, it's very successful that the club have already have um, qualified for Champions League. Uh, do you want to change the the numbers? You 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 haven't scored yet. You you haven't got a point. Uh, would that make any uh, any sense of meaning for you, for you? We always chasing win. We go over on the pitch to win a game, even against the champion of the Champions League. That's our attitude here in Malmo. And then we need to be realistic as well. But we are going on the pitch to get results every game. Okay. Thank you. Okay.